What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So we were correct in our prediction that there was going to be a Easter event that had something to do with eggs, but honestly, I'm pretty sure everyone guessed that. <laughs> and then there were leaks that were confirmed, so maybe we should need to trust that guy every time when he leaks something. <laughs> uh, but first, we are going to be actually grinding a lot of Pokemon Go. You guys know I have a ton of evolutions. I have like 800 Pidgey candy, like 800 Paris candy. So probably at the end of this video, I'm just gonna do a huge mass evolution spree and speed it up to see how much XP I can get. Hoping to hit level 38, which means I can get maxed out Pokemon. But first, I actually have to stop at the post office and send out this uh, Clash Royale, the Clash Royale P.E.K.K.A. statue to the, one of the winners. I have the box over there, I have to put it back in there. They wanted it signed, so I don't know. My signature isn't the best. It's just BT1 with my awful handwriting. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta go to the post office. Um, then I gotta actually take out the garbage. Then we're gonna head to Voyager Park, the place that has a lot of Pokestops, Magikarp. So maybe we'll even get a shiny Magikarp, and then we're gonna pick up Carla. Um, so it should be an interesting episode. But yeah, if we're running a Lucky Egg, we get quadruple XP. And then I still, uh, it's still unsure what the, like they said that two kilometer eggs were gonna have better Pokemon hatching. It's still unsure what, or it's still unclear at this moment in time. I'm sure later in the day we'll find out what those two kilometer eggs are. So we'll get that. Hopefully we get a lot of XP, maybe get the shiny Magikarp, and uh, let, let me know what you guys think of the uh, the double XP, double lucky egg <laughs> of Easter event. Are you guys, are you, do you guys like it or not? Uh, I do. Hopefully I hit, hit 38. I mean, I should. I'm only like 3 million XP away, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I did a terrible job at explaining that, so I'm going to re-explain, but we are, we are at the post office, and I already spun the post, the post office Pokestop, didn't get anything good, but this is the box for the P.E.K.K.A., um so it's a very interesting story and that's why i'm gonna have to restate it for you guys but like so you guys know i got i got rear-ended at a red light and my car was totaled like three weeks ago now or whatever so i was on this phone with the insurance or whatever and when your car is totaled you have to send in your title to for them to be able to take your car and do whatever they want to do with it so on march 29th is when i sent in my title to them and I sent it to a place that's in Milwaukee, which is like two hours or so away. So I was like, oh, it's, it's gonna get there maybe today or the next day. And then I didn't hear anything for like a couple days. I called them, I'm like, did you receive my title or whatever? And they're like, oh no. Um, typically it takes a few days to go through their whatever. So then every day after that, I was calling the insurance company like, where's my title? Is it there, is, my, is it there, is it there? And it didn't show up, so then two days ago they're like you might as well just it's probably lost in the mail or something you might as well just go print a duplicate one if you don't want to wait or anything so that's what I did today this morning got a duplicate title and guess what I got a call today saying that they finally received it my other title that I sent in three weeks ago or two weeks ago whatever the day is so it's like are you serious and I, I told Carl I was like I know this is gonna happen I know this is gonna happen so We'll catch this Pidgey too while we wait, but <laughs> it's like, are you freaking kidding me? The day I get it, but now I still have to send this title because even though they have my old title, like this is the most current one and they, that other one's going to be void or whatever. So I have to send this one anyways, but just so I let you know, uh, once I do finally get the money for my car, I don't even know if I'm going to get a new one anytime soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. I'll keep you, I'll keep you posted on that, but I just thought I'd give you that story. I decided to get that off my brain. It's like, really? Two, two weeks, the day I go to get my title, then it shows up, and it's only like a two hour, it's like it's only two hours away. That's why it's like, I could have drove there and gave them my title if I if I really knew this was gonna be the issue, but hindsight's 2020. So I'm gonna put tracking on this one. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. All right, so we are now done at the post office, and it's actually, I gotta go pick Carl up because she just got done with work. So actually, we just got the notification. It, uh, they're a little bit earlier than last time, like before they would send it in like a couple days into the event, but we're just spinning the Pokestop again to see if we get anything, but no. Sadly not, but I want to show you guys like just how much XP I'm talking here. So we'll go to, I already have it set up. So if we go to my Weedles, 236 candies, Pidgey, 669, uh, rats, how many rats we got? 655. That's just a brief preview of, a, of a, some of them. So all like the crappy Pokemon, I really haven't done an evolution spree in a long time. And if I'm gonna get quadruple XP, and I have that many to do, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. So 
Uh, after Carla's done with work now, I guess we'll head to the park. Hopefully, I'm gonna kind of force her to go. She's probably not gonna want to, so maybe, <laughs> so maybe it'll just be me going. I don't know. I just want to be there for a little bit, grind some XP, maybe get evolution on, maybe get a magic crap, you know, the usual. Guys, here we are at Voyager Park. Uh, this is the first time probably in five, four months that I've seen these lured up by another person other than me due to the event. So we're gonna head over there. Hopefully, get a lot of XP. Using the plus for the first time in a while. Um, I'll show you guys my starting XP too. So, 1.7 million. I remember selling a lot of waders back when I worked at Fleet Farm. It was a sporting goods store. But we do have an octillery on the sightings as we're approaching. It's a really nice day outside. and. A lot of people are probably here fishing because it's like one of the, I don't know, first days where it's nice enough to be out in the water and fishing, but it's a good sign that summer is almost here or just warm weather in general. <laughs> so behind me, we got the awesome sunset and then this water just rushing down. It's been raining a lot and everything else. So really nice views, a lot of seagulls trying to catch fish. We got the Letty in here. Um, no, nothing really, nothing really too crazy spawned. This guy's using me, giving me issues. This is the first time using the Nanat Berry, so he doesn't move. But we got a great toss. I don't even know if you can hear me that well because the water's really loud. But you can see all the key locks. I still don't fully understand. I know you like you're supposed to like throw those keys in the river or whatever, but it is what it is. So now this guy's back to his normal ways. Oh, oh, we got him. So yeah, we're pretty much just gonna stay till sundown, which we probably got like a half an hour, 20 minutes, I don't know. We'll see, we got the letty in though, and uh, we'll let you know, we'll keep you posted if anything interesting happens. So we have the birds fishing over there, the water rushing down, people fishing on the boats, and then people standing over there. <laughs> so every type of fishing going on down here, I'm not really a big fisherman or anything, but it's fully commenced here. <laughs> so nothing really new to report, just getting a lot of Pidgeys and Rattatas to support my huge evolution spree coming. But we picked up a we picked up another person. <laughs> uh, her feet are starting to feel better so we can walk. Um but yeah, it's gonna be dark somewhat soon, so I'm gonna actually throw on my second set of incense lucky eggs, so Keep you posted though. All right guys, so we have Ariados here, probably the best catch in the hour, within the hour, but I just, I, the reason I was like, Carly, you gotta see this, like all the people lined up. It's pretty cool. What, do, what are your thoughts on all the fishermen? She's actually never been fishing, so maybe I'll take her one of these times, but. Huh? They're scaring all the fish away. <laughs> Isn't it crazy though how like, like, oh you know I mean, I guess I understand it because a lot of people are all into different things, but like, Standing in water, fish. For me, I wouldn't be that hardcore. I would just like maybe just cast it off the dock and then <laughs> hope and pray. I wouldn't know all oh, the water coming out. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just a nice day out and a lot of people are out. So I'm trying to break out of the, the winter habit. But I'm going to switch to a great ball here. Ardeados. Come on. What day streak are we on, by the way? Three days? Three days. So. You probably saw it in the beginning of the dog, I just completely forgot. But we caught him. He's not the best, but it doesn't matter. Infestation and Mega Horn. So Carla and I were just saying the sunset reminds us of warm Florida or California beaches. You got the sound of the water, even though this is like artificial fake water, not ocean water. We're hatching two five kilometer eggs. Uh not too. Eh. Watch it's hundred IV. Nah, not even a good IV, dude. Yeah, but the event is for, they said, you're getting you're gonna get good two kilometer egg hatches, uh, but I only have five kilometer eggs right now and one 10 kilometer egg, so we'll see. But we got a star you. I was hoping for a Magikarp, to be honest, but I don't know. It is what it is. Did they get it? Did they get it? No, they get it. No. <laughs> 
It's very interesting how these, I don't get why they hunt in packs. I would understand if they're hunting big prey, but it seems like one person's gonna be really happy and then the other 30 of them will be really sad. <laughs> why, you think I'm gonna drop my camera? Yes. <laughs> my phone's waterproof. <laughs> Your camera's not. <laughs> you got a coughing, that's pretty rare. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, it's a rare hedge. It sucks. <gasps> Almost dropped my phone. But yeah, guys, you know how I stated this was a good park for Magikarp? We haven't had a single one spawn except for the one that's on my forehead. <laughs> it tricks me every time like I look at my game I'm like, is that a Magikarp? I'm like, no, that's my Magikarp hat. Uh, so that's been disappointing. I mean, the only really upside that we didn't get any evolution items. The only really upside is that we have enough Pidgeys and Rattatas now maybe to do the evolution spree, so. We'll take, we'll take it, I guess. All right, guys. Um, you know, I stated we didn't get any Magikarp, and the sun's pretty much set now. Well, here's our first one, Incensed. And then there is one at a lure that we'll go hit up, but I don't know. I thought for sure I'd catch a lot more Magikarp here with the duration that I was here, because before, I mean, yes, during the water event was the last time I was here, and that was to be expected, but even before in the summer, the last summer when Pokemon Go first came out, there was Magikarp all the time. So kind of disappointed in that regard, but maybe this uh, maybe this one at the lure will be shiny. And then uh, as soon as I catch that too, stop recording. Of course, my egg decides to hatch from our walks. Garbage. So we actually did pick up one two-kilometer egg though. Um, yeah, this isn't even a good IV. I'll evolve a bunch of those, but we'll scroll over. So yeah, we have one two-kilometer egg. Hopefully, we get some more because uh, I know Milk Tank was hatching up. I'm sure I'll give you guys the info on the full list. Um, at the end or at the start of this video I did, I don't know. Maybe I edited it in. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's actually the next day and here we have the updated egg charts for what Pokemon you can expect to see that aren't usually in 2 kilometer eggs. Now keep in mind, if you have picked up eggs that were before this event, you, you, you're gonna have like normal Pokemon hatching out of them. So like, you could probably still see some other ones. Yes, 10 kilometer eggs are still getting dropped out of Pokestops or whatever, they're still as rare as normal, but you can still majority get them. There's only like really two changes to the eggs that we have been observed so far. It's all of these Pokemon that can spawn out of two kilometer eggs. I'll go over them. And then out of five kilometer eggs, people have been hatching, uh, people have been hatching the generation two starters, which is Cyndaquil, Totodile, and uh, Chikorita. So keep that in mind. Five kilometer eggs has potential for the gen two starters. And then two kilometer eggs has the addition to um, Aerodactyl, Dunsparce, Eevee, Elekid, Drafferig, Grimer, Growlithe, Coughing, Lapras, Lavatar, Magby, Milktank, Onyx, Fanfi, Rhyhorn, Scyther, Shellder, Shuckle, Skarmory, uh, Smoochum, Sneasel, Stantler, Sudowoodo, Tangela, Tyrogue, that's a good one, Wobbuffet, and Wooper. And then we got a nice picture of LeBron James. <laughs> so yeah, this was all information courtesy of PokemonGoHub.net. And that's that's crazy. So if any of you ever hatch a Larvitar or a Lapras out of a two kilometer egg, let me know. Send me a tweet or something. Send me, send me a screenshot. It, that's insane. You just walk around with a two kilometer egg. So that that's really awesome that they made it a lot easier to get these out of two kilometer eggs. Yes, you still have to walk, but it's not a 10 kilometer egg for those. So that's awesome. And then the, the other, like I said, other changes were the uh, starters out of the five kilometer eggs. So as we wait here though, I'm just gonna be a, doing a big, huge evolution spree if my Pokemon will. As we load up here, I'd say by far that Steelix is the coolest screen, but yeah, we have a ton of evolutions, guys. And uh, we're gonna be doing a mass evolution spree. Yes, I'm gonna fast forward this part, and I still don't even have enough Weedles and stuff to do all of my XP that I could, but I have a lot of Pidgeys that I can evolve, a lot of Rattatas and everything. So we're gonna be doing an evolution spree. Hoping we can get it. We're gonna actually start a timer for 30 minutes, so I'll know when my lucky egg it runs out. Um, but I, we, so that's gonna be quad XP. So we're gonna see how much XP I can get for this. Gonna gonna start that lucky egg right now. Um, I know a lot of you probably have been saving evolutions too. So there we go. Boom. Start it. And now I'm just gonna fast forward this part. All right, so after doing most of my evolutions that I can for at least like the crappiest kind of Pokemon, you can see 
my current XP level. Now I was recording that clip for a very long time and for a long duration of it, I'd say like 30 minutes, I wasn't using a lucky egg. So that kind of maybe diminished it a little bit, but then I paused the recording or whatever. Uh, the main reason why I didn't use a lucky egg for that 30 minutes was because I wanted to see how, like how high I could get that XP number to like to be the, the one that shows you like plus whatever this amount of XP. So yeah, I still need like 500k XP to go a uh, long way, but it helped out with that big evolution spree and I'm not even really, I didn't even fully get to do all my Pidgeys and everything. Uh, that's why I was like evolving my Pidgeotos to Pidgeots, if you could even make that out. But I know it's not the most effective way, but I just had the candies and decided to use them. But either way, uh, yeah, a lot of XP, double XP is crazy. Let me know if you guys are making the most out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it, and if you subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos, and I'll see you guys later.